Paul Jeremiah Brown now works with the Canadian Olympic Committee to help athletes adjust to life after the Games. He joins us now from Montreal. Jeremiah, th thanks so much for joining us right now. Thanks for having me, Michael. Now, you've seen the images. You know, we were just sharing it uh, right before we came to you. Canadian Olympians coming home, a hero's welcome from Rio. A little bit like deja vu for you? Yeah, it's an incredibly emotional time. Um, harkens back to your own experience, of course. And, I mean, all of us in the sports system in Canada are just so proud for those of us who work in the sports system to see the, the performance and to see the, uh, how Canadians are supporting our athletes when they come back. So what was your life like right after the Olympics in London? What was it like to live in that glory? Well, it was euphoria. It was um, all this work leading up to this, this performance, this moment that for us went really well. And uh, I just remember being uh, just feeling euphoric and waves and waves of euphoria passing over my body um, beginning from the moment we crossed the finish line really uh, at reducing intervals but continuing in the months following the games and, and coming back to Canada especially was was really special so I just remember feeling very proud as a as an individual of my teammates and as a Canadian and felt like I was uh, privileged to to be able to take part in something special with my teammates. Well, you know, it's funny because the, the Canadians who watch Olympics always wish that Olympians could live in that glory and in that moment forever and a day because you gave us such happiness when you won. But, you know, honeymoons do end. What was the biggest challenge for you re adjusting to reality after that honeymoon period was over? Yeah, it's a great question, Michael. I think for me, the experience was, was so huge and you know, I tell people it blew my heart wide open to think about how to follow that up in terms of my next move in my career or what I want to do post sport was was really challenging and it's that relativity of going from that uh, experience of being the best in the world uh, or amongst a really small percentage of people doing this incredible feat in sport to you know asking that question of how do I follow this up and I Personally, I had worked in commercial banking before. I had begun a career, and I found it really difficult to come back and think about uh, going back to the nine to five, so to speak, when I had this incredible experience. So it was that relativity that was that was tough to get accustomed to, and it took some time. Well, it's interesting because, as we said in the introduction to you, you're now working with the Canadian Olympic Committee. You're you're working with athletes to adjust to life post Olympics. So, what's your key message to them as they land and and they should still bask and celebrate this glory? But as they look at the year ahead, the years ahead, what's your advice to them? Uh, well, where do I begin? I think. I would say that there are so many athletes that have lived the same experience as you and that we're all out there and so many of us want to help and give back and um, when the honeymoon phase does wear off as it invariably does for those athletes that are transitioning out I just say that there is a community of us out here uh, sure our team our program game plan our incredible partners Deloitte RBC and Morneau Chappelle but uh, our alumni our national team athletes our our past generation Olympians and Paralympians there's this great community out there that wants to help these athletes make that successful transition. And I would say uh, that our athletes, I would hope that they don't feel like they have to go through these times alone. It's, uh, there's a tendency for us athletes to just put it on our shoulders and power through. But there's a, a real community out there for, for all our athletes. And I, I think that there's a, a, a cr incredible opportunity for athletes to connect with others who've been through the same experience. And I, I find it also interesting because, you know, you may not be, you as an example, may not be competing at the Olympic level anymore, but you're still part of the Olympic family. You're still involved and uh, arguably there, there's still a chance for all athletes to stay within that family. Absolutely. And I'm incredibly grateful uh, for my, my position leading this program game plan. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's personal for me. It's, I've got teammates who were in Rio, who, had, who some will continue and some will be transitioning out of sports. So uh, it's an incredible opportunity. It's also something that we're working with our partners. Sport Canada is one of our partners on this project. And we're looking at how do we create more opportunities for athletes to stay in sport and to, to give back to their sports. So uh, no doubt there's lots of opportunity there that we, that we want to support athletes in pursuing. Okay, and Jeremiah, we're running out of time, but very quickly, your message to the athletes coming back today and over the next couple of days from Rio? Well, coming back and over the next couple of days, um, you know, enjoy the experience. Um, it, again, it's all relative. Some people uh, 
had great performances and personally felt like they had great performances and others will have felt like it was maybe a missed opportunity but I would say that we have resources out there um, we're here to talk to you uh, you know so soon after the games it's hard to think about these things but we have game plan advisors these these athletes uh, counselors that can work with athletes across the country and and we're here and we're ready to support uh, in, every, in whichever way we can. Jeremiah, thank you so much. And that's Jeremiah Brown, Olympic silver medalist at the London 2012 Games. Thanks, Michael.